Now, many of you by now, you will know that Neo gave us record-breaking deliveries on Saturday. And ladies and gents, we just got to receive uh, some news or some comments based on those deliveries from the big financial institutions. These are the institutions that we've been seeing them, of course, commenting, adjusting their price target, raising while some other way, lowering their price target on Neo after uh, deliveries. Now, after the 20,000... 544 deliveries that Neo announced for May. Ladies and gents, we got to see uh, big financial institutions like Morgan Stanley Bank of America coming and of course uh, comment on those uh, deliveries which Morgan Stanley, it was straightforward. They remained overweight on the Neo stock and uh, with a price tag of or price target of around $10 per stock which is something that is pretty exciting especially looking on where Neo is trading at now on the other hand ladies and gents uh, Bank of America came and of course lowered their price target from 50 or, or their HK or Hong Kong price target from 50 uh, of course uh, to 46 which is something that of course their main concerns they are saying that yes Neo delivered very well but they believe that the gross margins might be compromised by the kind of discounts that Neo is offering. So it is for that reason that they, of course, cut their guidance, which is something that is not uh, good. But again, you will know that, like I said, these uh, big financial institutions usually react based on what they see. I mean, these very same or some of these big financial institutions came early of the year and said that Neo is not going to do much. But uh, some of them already, they are updating or increasing their sales target for Neo for 2024 based on what they saw of course on Saturday Neo delivering over 20,000. Now Bank of America ladies and gents they came out and of course gave a guidance on what Neo is going to say their guidance will be on Thursday and that is they believe that Neo in Q2 will sell 50,200 which therefore means that in June they're expecting Neo to just sell around 14,000 deliveries which are that of course looking at the orders looking at the net insurance registration we've been receiving i think i'd like to uh, i would beg to differ on that because ladies and gents neo from last week's nav insurance registration or after neo's insurance registration last week we learned that new york currently has got uh, around 22 to 23,000 orders as it stands and therefore if neo managed to of course uh, deliver uh, the over 20,000 in May, I personally believe that with Neo having this kind of orders, they can easily uh, report or deliver over 20,000 deliveries even for June because, ladies and gents, they will manage to do that uh, around May and June. There's not much happening in terms of the holidays in China, which gives Neo enough time to produce over 20,000 deliveries. So the 14,000, I don't know why they came with this low forecast which though it will still be good because ladies and gents you will know that a hundred percent or this 50,200 for q2 which bank of america is saying it will still be a hundred percent or over hundred percent increase year over year because q2 2023 neo just sold 23,500 vehicles and to get to see it uh, to see them expected to sell 50,200 is an easy of course uh, over 100 percent increase over here so it will still be pretty good sales though i'm still saying that i see new delivering once again over 20,000 deliveries and again this is because that the discounts that new has been offering the 18,000 rnb discount that new has been offering to first time buyers they are still going to be continue to offer that discount this month which therefore means that the same uh, of course response from customers after those discounts or after neo initiated these discounts is the same response we are going to see from customers meaning that even now in june i believe that we'll get approximately the similar orders that will be who are getting probably last month because people are liking the kind of discounts that neo is offering we spoke of discounts yesterday or we spoke of uh, even subsidies that uh, neo is giving out which the first one like i said is the 18,000 rnb that neo is giving to those that buy the neo cars and the 10,000 rnb which is of course neo is offering to those that are of course swapping their old cars for neo so neo is giving them 10,000 rnb which is something that is pretty exciting so bank of america is saying because of this it will end up hurting their gross margins which is why they raised their loss on to neo for, uh, for 2024 2025 going to 2026 which is 
Uh, it's not a train smash. I mean, like these guys, you will know that there are so many of the things that they've came out and said. And uh, at a later stage, they come and, of course, update. The, uh, they were underweight on a stock. Uh, all of a sudden, they are overweight because of what they see, the results that that stock is producing. So, uh, because Bank of America or any institution like Bank of America is, is saying it increased their losses or believe that NEOS losses will increase because of maybe discounts, because of whatever is happening, does not mean that it will happen that way. Yes, I know discounts, they do hurt gross margins. That's a fact discounts at gross margins i mean personally i don't think that it will hurt or these discounts might hurt neo by much though i know it will of course have an impact into their gross margins but as to how much impact this will have on neo's gross margins i guess we'll have to wait for the q2 earnings and see how neo did or how neo uh, performed in terms of gross margins but i don't think it will be that bad which is something that of course uh, i believe that the bank uh, this institution or big institution sometimes they miss they tend to miss and over exaggerate things when they are not uh, like the way they are saying so it is for that reason that i'm still remaining bullish and i believe neo ladies and gents will deliver over twenty thousand even for the month of june i've said that even on the uh, on the saturday video i did about the deliveries to say that i believe that neo will do very well also in June, which is something that is incredible. I mean, from the Chinese calendar, which I just checked, I think the only holiday in June is, on a, is the 10th of June, which of course will be on a Monday, which that one day I still think that it won't have much impact uh, on Tunio deliveries like uh, how we see some of the long weekends uh, having impact into the news deliveries. I mean, in May or on May, you'll remember that Neo, ladies and gents, was affected by uh, the three-day holiday that took place beginning of May. I think it was from around uh, the 4th to the 6th, which obviously deliveries were not that much. And to know that now around June, um, it's only one holiday. That means that things could even be much better than what we saw. Um, around May because of that week you know that insurance registration wise New York managed to scoop 1,400 delivering deliveries during those uh, the holiday uh, period which is something that was not good and to get to see like I said that now they in June there's only one holiday that gives me hope confidence that we might get to see or receive yet another monthly delivery record from New York, which is something that is pretty exciting otherwise with all that guys i just thought i'd just give you this quick update if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and before you buy neo for the very first time it is always good that you do your own due diligence so that at least you, you don't get to to panic sell when you see share falls share drops and don't just don't take anything that you hear, even from the big financial institutions, like because uh, what we've been seeing, or at least what I've seen from some of the big financial institutions, is that they came out and become bearish on a stock two months, three months down the line. They changed their sentiment and now they are bullish, which I don't think is fair or fine because they they do not really know how much, of course, gross margins will be impacted by new offering the kind of discounts they are offering which that can only be officially revealed during the q2 earnings otherwise with all that guys that's all from me do your own due diligence before you buy this stock or increase your holdings because that will give you the confidence you need to own the new stock for a long term otherwise god bless you all